Hi, I'm John Callis. As we observe the sixth anniversary of the rover's arrival on Mars, let me update you on the status of Spirit. Well, we've been trying to get Spirit unstuck from this location on the west side of home plate, but the going has been very slow. It's been very difficult. We've been having all these problems, so we haven't actually been able to get going with the extrication process. This is a really difficult time for Spirit. We're still in this very difficult situation. We're mired in Troy, and we now may be a four-wheeled rover, which is going to make getting out even more difficult than it would have been with a, a five-wheeled rover. And we're pretty sure that it's just not going to make it through the winter if we stay at this location. Spirit's gotten herself out of tight spots before. There's, there's uh, been at least two previous occasions when winter was coming and Spirit was trapped, and she managed to, to, to break her way free and, and, and get uh, to safety. And, uh, and we're certainly hoping that this is going to make three for three. Spirit has definitely had some dramatic moments in her past, um, and I think this will be another one to add to that. Uh, and, but we have a lot of things left to try, so I think she has a very good chance um, of overcoming this obstacle. She wouldn't be who she is without the people who, who designed her and built her and who, who helped to, to guide her across Mars to this very day. You know, the rover has been on Mars for almost six years, well beyond its original 90 days, and its accomplishments are phenomenal. We're facing a really tough situation, but there's a saying among the team members, particularly the rover planners like myself, that you don't bet against Spirit. It's a good way to lose money. I think I have started to think of Spirit as being the Indiana Jones of Mars, where she she is just, uh, you know, these just impossible challenges just seem to get dumped on her and dumped on her and dumped on her and somehow she manages to just roll under that closing door and go back for her hat and keep right on going. Our job is to wear these rovers out. And who would have thought they'd still be operating after six years on the surface of Mars? This is a great testament to the scientists and engineers who designed, built, and operate the rovers. It's a great adventure.